The state of the recruiting world in 2024, we're entering the, the end of the year. It's been a crazy last four years where we've seen that pendulum swing from the recruiter side. Now it's heavily on the employer side, and I think it's really going to even out here in the next six months. But even with really the power being on that side of the aisle, we've, we've seen a lot of recruiting agencies still thrive. Even solo recruiters that come to the market, ones that we've worked with, drive their first 50K into the business very quickly. So you need to understand the ones that see the success and understand how to still sign contracts and drive cash into the business. They're the ones that really, at, at the very least, they understand very simple concepts, mainly around the strategies and the reasons why they implement, whether it be cold outreach tools or marketing strategies, whatever it may be, they understand why they are implementing those strategies and more importantly, how to make adjustments. That's the entire game is implementing tools and systems. It doesn't matter if you copy and paste it from whatever gurus out there, but putting it into your business, making the right adjustments, finding where your weaknesses are, whether it be with the messaging or the targeting or uh, follow up. The first basic concept is something that's going to help you with getting more meetings, getting more contracts is, is always credibility. This is not anything that is unique to recruiting or really any business. Credibility is always going to drive sales. It can come from personal brand. Personal brand is definitely king, whether it be on LinkedIn or whatever social platform you have with being a subject matter expert, maybe hiring for specific roles or industries. It could be just proof or social proof of, hey, we place five candidates for uh, the role that you're hiring for this month. So we have the proof, we have the candidates. Here are some profiles that you can check out. Could be logos on your website. So if I'm reaching out to a competitor, they see their three main uh, competitors on your website showing that you've built their teams. That's always gonna create urgency. And then candidate pipelines, maybe the way that you're finding candidates, or maybe you have a Facebook group of 10,000 specific candidates and specific roles. It could be all those things or content. So cold outreach is gonna be a part of a lot of agencies, client acquisition machines, even far into the future. It's very common with recruiters to never even move on from cold outreach, and that is fine, it works. But for cold outreach in this market, one of the things that you need to know is employers, they want problem solvers for the roles that they have open. And I've been on the employer side too. And if you've been on the employer side, the first thing that's on my mind is I don't wanna look like an idiot to the employer that I make bad decisions. There's gonna be indicators of agencies I'm going to ignore versus ones that are gonna actually catch my attention. I want to see indicators or signals that you've put your heels in and you're saying, this is the industry that I'm in. These are the roles that I'm working on currently, or I plan to work on. It's, it's been too many times where even with my agencies, where I partnered up with other recruiters, where they promise the world, they're generalists, they can definitely take care of that role and they don't submit any candidates or the candidates are just absolutely off the mark. Um, and it could be this, they're just spamming the world or maybe they're spread too thin, but that's what I'm trying to avoid. And that's what you have to keep in the back of your mind. There needs to be relevance in the messaging. So you need to show me that there's reasons other than me saying in this one sentence that I can take care of this problem. I need to see something else that indicates that. You also need to get my attention in the first place. So if you're gonna send me a novel and you're gonna copy and paste 10 paragraphs in an email, I'm just gonna delete it. Personalization is one of the best things you can do. A lot of people don't want to put in the work every day of personalizing, whether it's messages or cold calling is just a scalable way of personalization because you're talking to somebody. But you could also just, again, be relevant with videos or content in your niche. And that's going to help you really gain momentum. Once you start to get some bites, once you start to see some success with getting cash into the business, you can then segment and go even farther into your niche, whether it be a specific role and then you have different campaigns for sizes of companies or location. There's a lot of different things you can do when you plant your feet in and make sure that your messages are naturally being more relevant with your cold outreach. Finally, it's just understanding timing. You're gonna reach out to a lot of employers that have a role in the back burner. And in six months from now, it may be on fire. And three months from now, it may be an on fire, must fill role and a huge problem. So the follow-up, setting up systems and automation is, is really important. Check out solorecruiter.io. We have a new program, new partnership program that's going to help you gain with just credibility and implement systems that are going to get you contracts on.